Okay, it's another rainy day in Southern Oregon, but we got a little session going on here. Justin Ross is here breaking out. Oh, did you just pull it? I just pulled it. No, wait, I was gonna do a whole video on it. Do, wait, go back and do it I again. No, I want, I want the viewers to see the struggle in Flatland, oh, the challenge. The Can you, fear. you made it look too easy. So just a little backstory. Reenactment. Here's what happened. So we were just talking about bringing old school tricks back. Cause like for me, it's not so much about progressing and learning new tricks. I mean, that's fun and all, but it's few and far between. But I'm trying to bring some old tricks back in a backwards walk around. People have been asking for it, and I'm like, I gotta do that. <laughs> so then Justin comes out here. He's like, okay, I'm gonna do it. Third try, I think, yeah, right? Third try. Third try. He, first time, he's like, oh no, that's so sketchy. Second time, he landed on the peg. He does it a little different than I do because he goes right to the rear peg. And then the third time, I'm like, hey, I gotta film that, thinking we're gonna have like maybe a 10 minute video. Of Justin, <laughs> trying. you know, trying it and slamming and going over because that's what the flatland's all about. No, it's not. You can like put yourself out there, go for it, and do it. Okay, so we're gonna put you on the spot now. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. All right, no, not try it again. No, do no, it. you never say try. It. You're gonna try do it. it again, man. That was awesome. So here we go. Backwards walk around. He's bringing it back after 20 years. Oh, all right, good. did you see how sketchy that is? Like. <laughs> Going around, going around backside, like blindside is, okay. Well, we got one on film, so you know you're good. But I'm not adding any of this out. You gotta just do it. Oh! I got hung up. He's out, he's down, he's out. No, he's okay. I'm okay. Yeah, see the camera. You saw what I did, like, I, at the top of like, Yeah. Okay. I can't get over. <laughs> what not to do? Okay, good. I'm, I'm glad. See, he's just a professional. He's just giving us all the pointers of what not to do. Okay. What I remember about it is you get to a certain point, and if you do it at the right angle, you can swish it right underneath you. Right. Instead of having to, like, I'm jumping and I'm getting stuck at the top. Right. If you get a little swing yeah, through it, that it goes same right little in. feeling where you're like yeah. smoothie it yeah. through, kind of, right? Okay. Right. Yeah, that first, I, I didn't even see it because I was filming that first one that you pulled. So I want to go back and watch that because that was so clean. Okay, you got this though. You know you've got this. Done it all day. Oh, yes. It was a little touch. We call that a sneaky touch in my world. <laughs> a little sneaky touch. I didn't get stuck though, thank goodness. It didn't get stuck. And I think mentally, it seems like you're over it. Well, I'm scared. Oh, yeah? Okay. I'm legally scared. Well, you're covering it well because it looks it looks pretty uh, confident, I would say. There yes! Is. Nice. Dude. Good, Good job. Okay. So this is the kind of stuff that happens at Nori's Bike Academy Arena. On a rainy day, we're going to hit up this spot and we're going to ride and we're going to practice. I guess I'm up next. I don't know what trick I'm going to do. Not that. I'm not ready for that yet. But I think in decade, because I haven't done decades in forever. So, uh, yeah, keep your comments coming. Appreciate all the support. And we'll see you on the next one.